Hello guys, it's Rob with Tech. So today I'm bringing you another video on how to install Plex. So this is kind of like a, re a redo from the one that I had before, which is the other one is real blurry and you can't see what's going on. So I already set up this Open Media Vault instance. So if you need a video on, on showing you how to set it up, get it started, uh, I'll go ahead and link that that link in the description. So uh, basically what I have already set up is I have uh, the main disk and the, the hard drive disk, like the data disk, and then I also set up the uh, share folders so this is important and if you need to see how to set up this uh make sure you look at the other video but i have the app data and the compose folder and basically what i did is if i already created a share for this so i created this data share and this data share i have this docker folder so when i created the data i just went ahead i right clicked and started adding the docker and then i added the app data and the compose i created those two folders and then in here, I went ahead and linked them. So the ones that are in the Docker, uh, in the Plex and the Docker Hub. So if you go to Docker Hub, you can just search for Plex. The ones that I like to use is the Linux Plex because they already have the, they have the Docker Compose. So you can just copy this and you can paste it directly into our Open Media Vault. So uh, in this case, what I'm going to do, or if you look at the one of the parameters is uh, the config, the TV series, and the movies. Uh, so I'm going to create the TV folder or the TV series folder and the movies folder. So we go back to our folder. Uh, I'm just going to add my, I'm going to create another folder in here and I'm going to call it Plex. Like in Plex, I'm going to go ahead and create the TV series and I'm going to create the movies now there's multiple ways of doing this because the, if you, you can set up your folders at, like in a different location but this is one way also what you can do is like if you were to use the the shortcut when we create the the directories we can have it automatically add in here in the app data but for right now for this example i'm just going to go ahead and link the movies and the tv folder so now that we created that I'm just going to go to my Open Media Vault here. I'm just going to add. I'm going to call this Movies. And on the files, we'll just do the data drive. And then here on Movies, you just click Browse Directory. And I know it's Data, which is the folder we just created. You click on Movies, Choose. A miniature read write, user read write. This is fine for my setup because I'm my account is the Robert account and it's it, it has the users group. So that will be fine. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but for the TV series. And you can just click here, data drive. You can browse, do the same thing. Data, Plex, TV series. Click choose. Also, this is fine. Make sure read, write, users read, write. Tags, I'm going to go ahead and put TV series or Plex. It's just a, a tag so you know what it is. All right, now that I have that, I'm just going to go ahead and click the apply button so we can apply those those changes. Now, the reason I was saying that the app data and the compose are important is because if you, if you just run it, you go straight into the compose and copy the file over, you're going to get some messages that uh, this compose is not set up or the app data. But so if you go to services, you go to compose and you do settings. You can see that I have my compose files. I have my compose folder right here. So you first have to create under under shared folders. And so you can be able to add it here. Now for the data, I have the app data in here. Now, the good thing about using the app data linked here on data, you can instead of putting the whole SRV path, you can use this path, the change to compose data path. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click uh, compose files. And then I'm going to do add and I'm going to create a Plex. Plex. I'm going to copy the file that we just copied. I know mine is a thousand one and this is a hundred. And the way you can see that is you can just ID. I created a user called app user. And in that app user, uh, this is my ID. You can just run, you can SSH. 
So if you SSH into your machine, SSH root at and then the IP address, you can just do ID app user, or that's the one that I created. So you see how it's a thousand one and then the group is a hundred. So that's where those numbers came from here. Now this is not I'm gonna change this one to mine. All right. Now here we need to do those changes to those volumes, right? So I'm gonna click save. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to settings and I'm gonna look at this substitute change change to composing. I'm gonna copy this and we'll go back to the file. Plex. Now here I'm gonna use I'm gonna paste that in here. Forward slash and then I'll put Plex, the name of the thing, and then config. Now what this is gonna do is it's gonna create whenever you run uh the file is going to go in here docker and it's going to go into the app data and it's going to create a folder in here and then create a config folder and that's where the config is going to be now if you can do the same thing for tv and movies but the uh, folders will create like inside plex you can do plex but instead of config you can do movies or you can do tv and that will create the folders in there because in the past the way that it was done it was like if you do the srv path but I'm just going to do it the, the long way. All right. So now we're going to go back to, we're going to save this. Now, when we go back to storage shared folders, we have the one for movies right here. So I'm just going to copy that because this is the absolute path. I'm going to go back to services, compose files. And then in the Plex one, we're going to go ahead and change, remove all of this one. We're just going to control V or copy and paste. And now we're going to do the same thing for TV. The only thing that we would be changing is here on movies, we will change it to TV. Let's see, Reese, like that. Now that should be it for this Docker file. So let's see. Let's go ahead and run it. It's going to take a little while while it downloads the container. Right, so it looks like it finished. Now to access your Plex, you're going to go to another tab and you're going to do the IP address of your uh, Open Media Vault. Then you're going to do 32400 4 slash web. So that's what you're going to do. Your IP address colon and then 32400 4 slash web. That's going to give you your Plex. Now here, if you don't have an account, go ahead and create one. You can just create it by email or use your Google. I'm going to go ahead and sign into mine. Okay, so I just signed in. So now we need to set up the libraries. You can just go ahead and close this. Now here, this is the host name of your Open Media Vault. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to remove this option, but you still have to do some port for and if you want to access your Plex outside. Maybe that can be the, another video idea that I can create a VPN so you can access your Plex externally. I mean, is that something you're interested? Let me know in the comments. So we'll just do next. Okay, so we're going to add a library. We're going to add their movies library. Next folder, we're going to browse. You're going to go ahead and click your movies folder here on the left. Now you're going to add library. Now you're going to add it again and do the same thing for TV shows. Next, browse TV. All right. Now you can also add a lot more. Like if you were to want to add music, photos, you can go ahead and, and add those if you want it but in case that you do that you need to include that on your docker compose file and create the folders on the data plex because then you're not going to be able to link them so, so in this example we're only using movie and tv shows so i'll just leave it as as is i'll cancel that i'll do next i'll do finish right now we don't have anything the one this is our, our current one okay so that's like the one that I was testing with it's actually this one on the bottom so you shouldn't see this one or this one when i was testing earlier today uh but basically right now we don't have anything right because i don't have anything on those folders so we go ahead and open the folders we open movies we can't see anything now to load in movies right i'm just gonna go ahead and copy a random clip that i have just gonna copy and paste in here all right now that we added a movie we can just go click here scan for library files and it should take a little while, but then you should see it. 
Okay, so we go to library and it's right here. So you can play it. This is another video that I have. So I'll just go ahead and click back. But yeah, I mean, and, and then the same thing for TV shows. If you want to add any TV shows, you have to uh, go ahead and add it into the TV series. Uh, there is a way of labeling stuff. So I have this example here. So I'm just going to copy this temp folder that I created some files in. I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in here. So, so the way that for the TV series, for it to work right, you have to do something like the name. Because right now, TV series, the name, this would be like the name of the season that you want or the TV show. Now I created a season one. Now here's where it matters, right? Make sure that you have the season and the episode. Because if you don't include it like this, it would never show up under your TV series. So I have two examples here. I have this temp MP4, right? With the, the correct naming. And this is wrong. So if we go into our, our Plex, we do a, a scan for files, go to library. You'll see the temp, and but the one that is opening is you see how it says temp season one, episode one. You were never gonna see this other one unless you change the name on it. So if I were to change the name right now to like a season zero one or season one, and then I'll do episode two. Now by naming it like this, if you were to do a refresh again, we should start to see it come up. So now you see how there's two. Now you got the season and then two episodes. So that's just something uh, just quick to keep in mind for that. Uh, but that'll be it, guys, for the for the plex. If you like this video, please make, make sure to leave a like. Um, if there's anything that I miss, please let me know in the comments. Um, I know that I didn't go much about the account setup because I already had like in users. I already had the, the app user created, uh, but I do have another video and I'll go ahead and link that in the description that goes like uh, if you were just doing a clean install of Open Media Vault, how to get everything set up, how to install a Docker on there, get the OMV extras installed, setting up the app data, doing the, the sh like all the share folders, the shares, uh, the permissions. So maybe check that out if, if you're a little confused on this one. So that'll be all, guys. Thank you.